It's, uh, I'm too fat for this level of energy. You gotta, you're like collectively as an audience, your applause has made me out of breath. That's what's, that's what has happened. I am, uh, I was born with a condition where I'm, I'm too short for my weight. The doctor says it may never clear up. Um, getting older, I'm, I'm, I'm built like a lesbian web developer. It's hard when you're. It's hard when you when you're uh, a fat guy and you're a comedian because it, it, it all amounts to travel. You travel a lot when you're a comedian, and I feel like when fat people fly, it's nonstop harassment. Now, I feel like that TSA. They're not even looking at brown people anymore. You know, just like it all exists to harass fat people. From the minute you get to the airport, you get to the airport now, they're like, sir, you can't go to your, your gate without a bottle of water. I'm like, bitch, I can't make it to my mailbox without a bottle of water. <laughs> they're like, what do we do now? You know, they're like, you take off your, sh your, your belt, your shoes. I'm like, I can't see any of that shit. You know what I mean? I got a flight to catch. I think they should put in an express lane at the airport, at the airport uh, for fat people only. You know, you know how the first class has like their own special line? You get your own line for fat people only. I think that would be great. Now I see the skinny people out in the room wincing, you know, going, why should they, why should they get special treatment? Well, you're not thinking about how much quicker the skinny line's gonna go <laughs> with all the fat fucks out of the way, you know what I mean? Second of all, like fat people, we shouldn't have to go through the same level of security skinny people, aka terrorists. <laughs> have to go through, you know what I mean? Remember 9-11, 19 hijackers, not one chubby individual on that poster. There's no such thing. Here's a little secret about fat people. Once we're on the plane, we don't like to move around a lot. Once I am wedged into that seat, I am there for the duration of the flight. Matter of fact, if you're seated on the inside of me and you need to go to the bathroom, go around, you know what I mean? Daddy's all set, I'm daddy. So then, Skinny people do annoying shit on the plane, too. You know, like use the armrest. Um, it's like three inches of room I could have had, but now I'm muffin topping over the air in your area. Okay. I'm in my 40s now, which is uh, disgusting. It's hard. It's hard being a, a professional comedian in your 40s because I feel like you get no respect for that. You know what I mean? I feel like sometimes I would get more respect if I'm in my 40s, if I told strangers that I worked at McDonald's. Because at least they would believe me, right? You know what I mean? If I, I'm in my 40s and I tell a stranger I work at McDonald's, they're probably thinking like, oh, wow, he's a loser. But they believe me, you know what I mean? I tell people I'm in my 40s, I tell a stranger I'm a professional comedian, they look at me like I'm a liar and like I work at McDonald's. That's what they... We have fun. You know, people have to explicitly tell you that they have fun. I love that. We have fun. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's always people you're 100% sure don't know what fun is. Like a dental hygienist or a youth pastor. I, I had a youth pastor. I grew up Christian. Anybody else? Ooh, not anymore. I fell out of love with the Lord. Um, I'll never get when I was uh, I was 12 years old. I, I, I went to summer camp, Christian camp, a sleepaway camp. It was going to be for a week. I thought it was going to be awesome. And uh, and the the youth counselor, she's telling me like, we have fun, Patrick. We do a little chapel every day for an hour, and then you have the whole afternoon free to swim. They had a big pool. It was awesome. But the first night of uh, of Christian camp, this kid Garrett, fucking idiot, <laughs> climbed over the fence to the pool, jumped in, hit his head, died. <laughs> I know, they closed the pool all week. It was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. I guess they didn't want people swimming in the dead kid water. And, and they filled every afternoon with extra chapel services, which is, you know. And the, the youth pastor, she heard, me, she heard me complaining about it. And she's like, Patrick, you know, you gotta think about Garrett and his family. You know, what would Jesus do? I'm like, well, pretty sure he doesn't like disappointing people and he can walk on water. So he probably opened the pool so we can, you know, 
have a nice time. We have fun. <laughs>